Well, Russia appears to be emboldened after a tactical withdrawal of Ukrainian troops from Severodonetsk in the Luhansk region of Donbass. Today, for the first time in three weeks, the capital of Kyiv has been hit. Russian missiles hit the capital at 5 a.m. this morning. We know one person is dead. At least five are injured. A residential building hit, as well as the grounds near a local kindergarten. Take a look at this video. This was just after the missiles hit. Again, at 5 a.m. local time. A lot of damage. First responders rushing in to save people trapped in the rubble. According to Vitaly Klitschko, the mayor of Kyiv, that included a seven-year-old girl and her mother. Now, Klitschko thinks that this was meant to intimidate Ukrainians ahead of Tuesday's NATO summit in Madrid. Here's President Volodymyr Zelensky talking about the attacks. The occupiers were going to capture most of our country on the fifth day, but have to stage such a missile show on the fifth month which does not change anything strategically for Russia. This is such a phase of war, morally difficult, emotionally difficult. Russia also promising to send nuclear-capable missiles to Belarus. This comes from a meeting with President Vladimir Putin and Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. They discussed what they believe to be aggressive policies from Lithuania and Poland specifically. Here's President Putin talking about the deal. Within the next few months, we will hand over to Belarus the Iskander M tactical missile systems, which, as you know, can use both ballistic and cruise missiles, both in conventional and nuclear versions. We also know that President Vladimir Putin will be making his first foreign trip of the war. This week, according to Russian state television, he'll be visiting two former Soviet states in Central Asia. Reporting in Lviv, Ukraine, I'm Nate Foy, Fox News.